if there's one definitive answer to how do you get crystal clear water is this don't do a damn thing when i say crystal clear you know what i'm talking about when you look through it you're like it looks like there's no water in there yeah that's what i'm talking about i'm gonna tell you how to get it i have extremely clear water i always have extremely clear water it's not because i'm like the greatest fish keeper in the world it's the complete opposite i procrastinate and i'm lazy and that's why my water is so clear water changes now if you guys are experienced fish keepers you have a definitive water change opinion 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent zero percent however you do your water changes and it works for you then i'm not gonna dish you do you boo boo do you i do very large water changes i do 50 percent water changes at least once a week i've been known to do them twice a week depending on the situation but definitely once a week i do 50 percent water change doing a 50 percent water change removes a lot of that physical debris that may be clouding up clouding up your water um the, the little bits of particles and stuff like that whatever anybody's um thoughts on water changes if you're new to the hobby and you heard that you had to do 25 percent, i say go ahead and start there but don't be afraid to do different things push the boundaries on your water changes or don't do any at all to see which one works for you the reason why i can get away with doing such large water changes and not having ill effects because let me look so there's, there is a nice little balance that happens in your water. You got beneficial bacteria, you have, um, you know, your water. And depending on what fish you have in there, it produces stuff in your water. And your beneficial bacteria will level itself out to, con to combat the amount of ammonia or um, any of that stuff to give you a crystal clear water. Okay, so my trick when it comes to beneficial bacteria is this i rarely clean out my beneficial bacteria um substrate or media i do clean it out but i do not clean out my beneficial bacteria or my biological media at the same time that i do a water change i always will if i'm changing out if i'm cleaning out my um beneficial bacteria or my um, um biological media I will not do a water change if i do a water change i won't so you see what i'm saying if you change out if you change out a large amount of water and you totally clean out well not totally but clean out a lot of your um bio media you're also going to get rid of a lot of your beneficial bacteria that's not going to be able to to uh to clean out what's going to come through it it will grow but for a short amount of time maybe like a day or two you will have cloudy water before all your all your um levels balance out so when i talk about cleaning my biological filtration i'm talking about just rinsing off all the gook with water that i pulled out from the tank you, you cannot clean out your beneficial bacteria or your biological media with chlorinated water that water has to be treated and one of the best ways to get that treated water is use the use some water from your tank put it in a, in a bucket swish it out knock all the debris off of it you know rinse it out um shake it don't don't put it on the tap what i'm telling you you're gonna make all kinds of mistakes and you're gonna kick your tank in the move in the mouth in the move in the <laughs> I was gonna say some other stuff. You you, you kick your tank in the mouth. Don't use chlorinated water. It will kill your beneficial bacteria. So I can get away with doing large water changes because I have a large amount of beneficial bacteria, a large amount of biological media um, to handle fluctuations in your water chemistry. So. That's how come I can get away. So the second thing I'd have to say is along with large water changes is large amounts of biological filtration, large water changes, large amounts of beneficial bacteria. None of this stuff costs money, right? What I'm telling you is, is all free. You don't have to buy squat. In fact, I'm telling you, if you buy something to get your water crystal clear, you are doing yourself a huge disservice. You met you, you're kicking your own self in the mouth. All right, because all you're doing is hiding what the problem is. All right, 
And the problem is, one is you don't have enough beneficial bacteria, or two is I'm about to tell you at the end is, is my second is my third reason why you got. But if you buying stuff, clarity that seek that whatever I don't care who it. Listen, I don't. I will put it out there. My name is Aquafunk, and if you out there trying to sell people a product to make their water crystal clear, you're not honest at all with your subscribers. It's just, it's just not. And I'm not trying to start no mess. I just want my subscribers to know, please do not listen to them. That's all I'm saying. There's a lot of people out there I do like. I, I like them as individuals, but I'm just saying, don't, don't buy. Just don't buy a damn thing to get your water crystal clear. Just, in fact, just don't do anything. It'll, it, water, water got its own mind. If you leave it alone, it will figure itself out and handle its own self. The number one reason why I think most people have not crystal clear water, I don't even know that's right, is y'all are feeding your fish too much, okay? The fish do not need as much food as we think they do. Yeah, we love, I got angels. Angels love to, they, you know, they, it's a way to interact with your fish. You do something, they do something in return. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's truly a relationship type deal when you feed your fish. You, it makes you feel closer to them. It makes you feel like, oh, they love you. You're just dirtying your tank and making that water foul for your fish to live in. And you're not going to get that crystal clear clarity. It's going to have ammonia issues. You're going to have ammonia blooms. You're going to have too much nitrates. And you're going to have algae issues. There's so many things that can go wrong. So stop feeding your fish so much. Now, there's a whole lot of scales on, oh, well, if you have this, you need to feed them this much. And you need this. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I've been feeding my fish once a day. But I could pull back. In fact, um, a lot of them are reaching maturity. So I can pull back to... Uh, every other day, if I'm growing out a fish because it's little and I'm trying to grow it out, yeah, I'll feed every day. But if once they're grown, I just, I'll feed every other day. You can feed every two days. You know what I mean? As long as their bellies are um, have a slight bulge or they're um, straight across on the bottom, they're fed. It's when their bellies are concave inward, you know, like their 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 bellies go in up up and in that's that's when you you, you might want to feed them more but if, if you don't see that stop feeding them so much because all you're doing is you're putting more food in there they're not eating all the food so it's laying at the bottom of the tank rotting getting all up into your water column they're crapping a whole hell of a lot more because you're feeding them so much that's rotting getting up into your water you're overloading your beneficial bacteria you have cloudy water you have cloudy white water but just stop overfeeding your fish so much that's that's in my opinion the number one thing that makes people not have crystal clear water